do not be drunk in wine when it is in excess or in dissipation. He said, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. He came for solution. He didn't come to condemn. He came to save. If God tells you be fruitful, what he's saying is that he has wired you to be fruitful. As a believer, you must be making things happen. You must be talking to God to solve the problems on the earth. Purpose is discovered, it is not determined. You will start whining and dining with the kings because you have what it takes to offer. You have solutions and answers to their questions. We give adoration. Wherever you are, just lift your hands and worship the name of Jesus. For he alone deserves all the glory, all the honor. There is none compared to him. We bless your holy name, Jesus. For all power, all might, all majesties we ascribe to you and you alone. You alone deserve it forever and ever and ever and ever. Scripture says the heart is the Lord and the fullness thereof. We bless your holy name, Jesus. For everything belongs to you. We worship you. You deserve all our lift, the lifting of our hands. We bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah to your holy name. We worship you, Jesus. We join the four and twenty others to say, Holy, and holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Oh God, we worship you, God. Forever and ever, our song is Amen. Hallelujah to your name. We 
bless your holy name, Jesus. We bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. One more time. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm going to be excited to see the sixth month in the year 2020. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, if you're ready to give God praise, just jump onto your feet and give the Lord a shout of praise Glory. as you give the Lord a dance. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. Come on, give the Lord a dance of praise this one. Now, we're going to do something special. You can join us as you do. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, choir, join me. Say, hey, 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 hey. Shake your body, shake your body, shake your body, shake your body. Say, hey, hey, my God is good, oh. Sing my praise unto you, my God. I will dance, I will sing to you. You have been my help forever and ever. Say, in the morning when I wake up, I will sing my praise unto you, my God. I will dance, I will sing to you. You have been my help forever and ever. Oh, 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 hey, hey. my God, he good. Promotion I excess excess. Hey, promotion I excess excess. Breakthrough I excess excess. Hey, my God is good. Oh. Jesus of Boogie Wanka. Jesus of Boogie Wanka. For all you have done. Say Jesus, Jesus, a boogie. Say Jesus, for all, for all you have done and all you will do. Jesus, a boogie waka. Say Jesus, a boogie waka. Jesus, a boogie waka. For all you have done and all you will do. Jesus, a boogie wanka. Come on, say Jesus. Hey, le, 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 le. Whenever I call you answer, you answer. Your blessings they flow like shower. I shower. I cannot repay you for all you would do, Jesus. A boogie wanka. Hey, I got my parallelia blue. Hey, I got my parallelia for For all you have done and all you would do, Jesus. Lift your 
voice and say, Jesus. Jesus, Hallelujah. Now we're going to do something special this morning. I want you to join us. Hallelujah. Are you ready to sing and dance? Oh, yes. Are you ready to sing and dance? Oh, yes. Why are you ready? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. One, two, three. I'll sing, I'll sing, I'll sing, I'll sing, I'll sing, I'll dance, 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 I go sing and dance, oh. I'll sing, I'll sing, I'll hey. sing, I'll sing, I'll hey. dance, I'll dance, hey. I'll dance, 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 i will dance 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 i will When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me dance, hey. I dance like a winner, man. Oh. Hey. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Oh, yeah, I dance like a winner, man. Oh, yeah, I dance like a winner, man. Dance like a winner, man. Say you go dance like a winner, man. Dance like a winner, man. Hey, you could shake like a winner, man. Shake like a winner, man. Hey, 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 hey. Dance like a winner, man. Dance like a winner, man. Oh, yeah, shake like a winner, man. Shake like a winner, man. Oh, yeah, dance like a winner, man. Shake like a winner, man. Shake like a winner, man. Glory be to my God. Hallelujah. Glory be to my God. Hallelujah. Glory be to my God. Glory be to my God. One more time. Glory be to my God. Hallelujah. Glory be to my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Let's thank God. Let's thank Him in understanding. Thank Him in tongues. Let's just open our mouths and thank God today for everything that He has done for who He is. Father, we thank you, we worship you, we glorify your holy name. You are good, you are great, you are kind. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none to be compared to thee. No one is worthy of your praises. No one is worthy of your glory. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we adore you. Lord, we lift your name on high. The word of God says in everything, give thanks. In every situation, give thanks. So, God, we say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you for this season. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you for everything that is going on. Lord, we thank you because you alone knows best. We give you all the glory, all the honor. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for not leaving us, not forsaking us. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Right now we are going to be praying for the grace to trust God this season. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path and he will make your path straight. So let's just, let's just, let's just pray right now that we have grace to trust God. The Bible, the Bible commands, says that we walk by faith and not by sight. Say so we have grace to walk by faith. Even in this season that we do not understand what is going on, that we do not know what tomorrow holds. Let's just pray that we have grace to trust, grace to hold on 
unto God, where we are still and we know that God is God, that we do not forget our maker in this season. We do not forget, forget him who has brought us out of our Egypt. That we are not giving to murmuring like the Israelites. Meko solo dobo hoste, e roko pola dobo shile balakate zolo paradaha, iko polo bolo boshte, we trust in the Lord with all our hearts. Meko pretu balatush kile breke, iko bolo balabahashta, our faith does not waver this season. In the name of Jesus, e kopro tobo la toshte, iko balada bareto bo shile dabaha. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Right now, let's just pray for the light of God. We are going to ask that the light of God would dawn on us, that we begin to receive light. We, we have an understanding. We have knowledge. We know what to do. We know the, the decisions to make. Let's just pray that we receive light, especially in this season. If we walk in darkness, we will stumble. But when we have the light of God, we will see clearly and we will move in the right direction. God, let your light dawn on us. Let your light dawn in my spirit. In Pagado, Shile de Balaha, Rocopolo de Boste, Icobolo Tugeleba, Liketush Kelebaha, Icareke Tuzeleka Patia Katush de Lebaha, Liket Hosiete. I know what to do. I know the right decisions to make. In the name of Jesus, Eloko Boro de Boho, Icoba Shalabaha. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Right now, let's just take the confession of faith. Father God, we thank you for all that you have been and done for us. Thank you for all that we have been through individually and as a spiritual family. Thank you, God, for all the blessings, situations, challenges, relationships, and all. Glory to God. We have received God's mercy, compassion, and grace into our lives. We are God's righteousness in Christ Jesus. We are Christ-like in thoughts, character, and actions. We are super intelligent, super excellent, and full of God's glory. All demonic shackles and bondages are broken. We are liberated from negative notions, addictions, and bad habits and all kinds of weaknesses. We are supernaturally strengthened, fortified, full of the spirit of love, might, power, wisdom, grace, faith, excellence, and truth in Jesus' name. And it just said amen. amen. Therefore, therefore, we exercise dominion by the Holy Spirit in every facet of life, in our industries, workplaces, relationships, families, politics, governance, and in this nation. We are in charge of all circumstances, conversations, plants, animals, sea, land, machines, money, properties, and all. We reign by abundant grace and the gift of righteousness in and with Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. We have received God's requisite knowledge, deeper understanding, and we operate divine wisdom, and we are successful in our businesses, careers, studies, relationships, marriages, health, finances, properties, families, church, ministry, and all. We are supernaturally ill and healthy, settled with wonderful friendships, relationships, and marital bliss, experiencing financial provisions, massively impacting lives via our ministry, fulfilling and helping others to fulfill God's giving purposes in Jesus' name. And the church said amen. amen. Communion Christian Center, Life Center Ministries, has sporadically 
increased in membership, insights, influence, impact, and in physical, material, financial, and human resources to fulfill our mandate, saving and blessing generations. In Jesus' name, we have supernaturally opened Communion Christian Center, Life Channel Ministries in Ibado, Abuja, VI Lekki, Port Harcourt, New York, London, Beijing, Tokyo, Dubai, Singapore, and in all commercial and capital cities and countries of the world by the power and wisdom of the Holy Spirit with signs and wonders via God-fearing, trusted, reliable, humble, resourceful, broken, skillful, intelligent, spiritual, submissive, graceful, communion Christian Center, Life Channel Ministry, vision-driven sons and daughters of pastor and pastor misses all our church centers and ministry meeting venues are packed full of people with many services in Jesus' name. All these facilities we need for the gospel of Christ are paid for with ease in advance. Landed property and buildings are acquired debt free without stress. Many lives, orphans, prisoners, poor, less privileged, sicklers, disabled, broken hearted, and others are touched and taken care of by the rest of us. We have started building and repairing ruined cities and countries' economies, health, education, infrastructures, families, and so on. Because we are men and women that hear, see, and perceive what God is saying in Jesus' name. Therefore, therefore, we are comforted, anointed, offense-free, peaceful, love workers, holy, and full of joy, unspeakable, in Jesus' name. Full of joy, unspeakable, in Jesus' name. Come and rejoice. Glory to God. Our families, organizations, communities, cities, and nation, Nigeria, are blessed, peaceful, and full of God's knowledge. Kings, politicians, and public officers are saved and God-fearing. The body of Christ is on fire for Christ. All other churches and ministries with their ministers are blessed, multiplying, and fulfilling their God-given mandate in Jesus' name. I, Temitokpe Awobisayo, specifically declare that in this season and in 2020, does declare, does declare, that the eyes of your understanding are enlightened, they are full of the spirit of grace, that your path is guided and shines brighter and brighter to the perfect day. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It is our season of dominion. It's my season of dominion. We leap onto the next level of greatness and exploit. We are in charge of life and its events, taking over places and winning souls massively for Christ. In Jesus' name. Thank God for answers. Glory to God. Come on, rejoice and give him praise. Thank you. I was coming back from work sometime last week and I was taking, it was around probably past 10, and um, the last shuttle I was going to take from the last bus stop to my estate. While we were going, we were trying to turn at a roundabout, and I don't know what was wrong with the shuttle. Eventually, it just landed upside down. The screen shattered. Everything was. It was. It was a. It was scary. It was. I mean, I. I didn't see it coming. 
I don't know what even happened to every other person. As in, I just stood up. I carried my wig. I carried my laptop bag. <laughs> and I just went to the side of the road and I was just trembling. I was in shock. I mean, I could hear, when, when that happened, I could hear people shouting, stop the vehicles coming, stop the vehicles coming. I could see lights, floodlights of all the cars coming and it was really, you know, it was very horrifying. But I thank God, I did not even sustain. I had to scratch on my leg. But aside from that, there was really no injury. I couldn't even, I didn't get the time to, I was too shocked to figure out what happened to every other person. I was just standing by the side of the road. And somebody was like, were you part of people in that shot? So I was like, yes. And I was like, okay, let me take you home. And then the person, you know, drove me home. It was, I just want to thank God for his protection. So I embarked on a journey sometime last year. And um, for over a year now, I've had reason to uh, be on the road, at times touch some few states every week. Maybe uh, the only times I didn't travel for more than a year now was probably three weeks. And um, I want to thank God for his protection. And um, on an occasion, I was uh, traveling and um, the car I was in, you know, the steering just got hooked. You couldn't turn. There was trailer in front, trailer by the side. And um, the only thing that just happened was the car just used the trailer to block and the trailer moved and um, we just found ourselves by the side of the road and it was just two of us, just driver and I. Nothing happened to any of us and nothing happened to the car. So I want to thank God for that. And lastly, I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for uh, signing my postgraduate. Uh, I remember jokingly, I usually tell the family of my um, uh, friend uh, uh, that, you know, all the grades I didn't get while I was an undergraduate. I want to go and get it now. And, um, you know, to the glory of the Lord, it was um, spectacular. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, Hallelujah. Just bless the name of God. Mm, last year, finished NYSE. Um, I got into one of the top law firms, actually the biggest law firm in Nigeria and West Africa. But I knew that wasn't the right place for me. So I was like, okay, the pay is nice. The name is right. The connection is right. And I'm like, God, where are we supposed to go next? So NYC, we finished. I didn't stay back. Moved on. And God orchestrated and took me to a smaller place. And I was like, God, I hate this place. Why are you bringing me here? And I'm like, okay. I submit your authority. Whatever you want me to learn. I'm just going to stay and duck my head here and just learn it. And then we expect the next move. And um, September, I resumed in another place an American company, one of the biggest American companies in the world when it comes to infrastructure. And here I am saying thank you, Lord Jesus, for leading my path. The company I resumed, I actually saw myself working in it in January when I was praying about my job. But I just did not know the name. I didn't know where it was located. But I saw that same seat I occupy now. I, I saw the same view I see when I go into the office. And when I got in, I was like, oh my God, so this is the place. And then it was just like, Everything just clicked. The salary was right. Incentive was right. Everything was just right. Everything was just right, right. <laughs> so I just want to thank God and encourage anybody here, you know, looking to God for career movement, job movement, that trust God and God will always say to you. Uh, <laughs> I just want to give glory to God uh, because uh, of the speech that I've experienced. Uh, it has not been easy, but God has been faithful. Uh, between January and now, I've been between four jobs. Like moving, 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 moving. And it's not as if the previous one is paying lesser than the new one I'm moving to. And uh, I just want to thank God because on Monday 11th, I'm resuming another job. And uh, uh, it, is, it is not by power, neither by might, but by the Spirit of God. I just want to give glory to God. Hallelujah. And praise Him for His goodness. Thank God. Um, it's already a year that I started my work, and I just want to thank God for progress. I want to thank God for how He has helped me thus far. Um, when I was coming last year, I was like, oh God, I do not know where I will stay. I do not know how things will go, but I just want to thank God because He has been good and His message endured forever. Praise God. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Timile Yojo. I'm from Ife. I used to attend Communion Campus Church, but currently I'm in Ife now. I'm a graduate now, so I'm done now, but I'm still in Ife. And my testimony goes thus. 
Earlier in the week, when Pastor said we should write down things that we wanted God to do for us this uh, this period of prayers. So one of the things I wrote down was that I wanted to move closer to God, and because I was a graduate, I wanted to be sure specifically what I should put my hands into and what should, what I shouldn't put my hands into, what was going to be profitable and not. Um, so so I wrote it down and I started praying about it. Then day before yesterday before yesterday during the night god actually revealed himself to me in a way that i had not experienced before and what i was supposed to do became clearer and it became clearer and became clearer thank you very much sir glory 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 praise god hallelujah manko shebretushe kebra halabako shekebrina kota barata korea da batosha come on give god a shout offering glory ha 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 Woo! Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today. Our hearts are full of joy. We have come to worship you. We have come to give you praise again. We have come to eulogize you. Uh, Paul Apostle wrote to the Ephesians, he said, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have come to say, Blessed be thy holy name. We have come to bless you, to minister unto you. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We thank you. Lord, we receive your word. We thank you. We receive your word with, with gladness. Thank you, Jesus. We are, you know, empowered and strengthened and steered to give you praise, to dance, to shout, to laugh, to rejoice. We give you praise, to give you praise, to sing. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father, as we celebrate you today. As we listen to your word, we are empowered to celebrate you as we celebrate you today and forever and continue to celebrate you. Lord, we receive abundance, much more abundance of those things you have gotten for us. You have blessed us with in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, um, what I want to share with you is on thanksgiving on purpose thanksgiving on purpose now this month is a special month and our god wants to teach us certain lessons as touching the reason why he has sent us to this world according to romans chapter 8 verse 28 he said good all things work together for good to those who love god you know and accord according to his purpose or good those who love god and accord according to his purpose so all things work together for our good and accord according to his purpose. So we love God and then we accord according to his purpose. Now, one of the things that helps us to actually get in alignment with God and to uh, bless him and to, you know, really understand what he has actually called and sent us is by actually worshiping God and giving him praise. Don't forget the first man, God was having a very cool time with Adam, all right? He was being, you know, God was being glorified by the life of Adam, supernatural life of Adam. And then Adam fell. You know the whole story. And But God already proposed in his heart to restore her back to him, so he sent the last Adam, Jesus Christ. And then we have been restored. Glory to Jesus. We have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. We are now kingdom dwellers. We are God carriers. We are vision driven. We are, you know, um, um, we are to fulfill his mandates, his assignment for every one of us on the earth. But you see, how do we key into this? It's with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Our lips must be filled with thanksgiving. You know, according to what it says in Hebrew, our lips must be filled with thanksgiving. Hebrew chapter 13, filled with thanksgiving. You know, the scripture says, regardless of what is happening or whatever is happening, we must always give thanks to God Always give thanks to God for this is the will of God for us in Christ Jesus. All right? Always giving thanks to God for this is the will of God for us in Christ Jesus. And now there's a song that pop up in my spirit and it's taken from Psalm 103. He said, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Psalm 103 verse 1, he said, bless the Lord, 
That is, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, my soul, my spirit, my mind, bless the Lord. My intellect submits to the Lord. What I call wisdom submits to the Lord. My reasoning, intellect, my mind, my emotions, bless the Lord. He said, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. And all that is within me, my liver, my lungs, my spirit, my soul, everything, bless the Lord. And all that is within me, look at what it says, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So it makes that if you are ungrateful, you are forgetful of his benefits. You are forgetful of his benefits. You, you've forgotten his benefits. All right? One of the things that really stirred us to give him praise and thank him is because of those things that he has done. Bible says the Lord is merciful, he is good, and his mercy endures forever. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Ooh, yeah. You are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Now, you, you need to know that God is good. He's a good God. Whether things are working well for you or not, He remains good. Let me tell you, the problems of the earth can never, all right, move God from that position of being good. That is who He is. Bible says, you know, Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of Light. James chapter 1, verse 17. All right? Comes from the Father of Light. Every good and perfect gift. God is good and He gives a good gift. You see, the Bible says, if you've been evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. You give them, you know, bread when they ask for bread and you don't give them serpent. How much more your heavenly father? God is good. I like you to say to yourself, say, God is good. Say, God is good to me. God is good to me. God is good to me. It says, so my soul bless the Lord. Say, my soul bless the Lord. My soul bless the Lord. My soul glorify his name. Hallelujah. My soul bless the Lord, my soul glorify his name, hallelujah. Your soul must bless the Lord, your reasoning, your mind, your spirit, everything that is yours, your body must bless the Lord. Paul writing to the you know, Romans, he said, present your bodies as a living sacrifice. God must be able to perceive you, all right, and smell aroma. God must be able to see your lifestyle and see praises coming to him and see worship coming to him. You see that? Bible says, let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom. He said, this must abound unto thanksgiving. He said, in all that you do, Colossians chapter 3 from verse 16 paraphrased, he said, everything that you do, let in, in what, in deed, in what, in deed, let it give God the glory. Let it be unto the Lord a thanksgiving. All right? So we must live a life of thanksgiving. Look at what he says. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He who forgive all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. This is present continuous. Forgives. He didn't say he has just forgiven. He forgives all your iniquities and heals all your diseases. All right? So that means in intense giving, there is healing. Intense giving, there is forgiveness. Look at it. He who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfies your mouth with good things. <laughs> I love that. God puts his revelation in your mouth to declare so that your belly can be satisfied. All right? Bible says, by the fruit of your lips, your belly is satisfied. Your life is full of pleasurable things. You know, Bible says, in the power of tongue lies. In the tongues lies the power of life and death. Who satisfies your mouth with good things? He puts the word of God in your mouth for you to declare. All right? That's God for you. And he also put bread for you to eat. That's God for you. Who satisfies your mouth, look at it, with good things. With good things. So that your youth is renewed like the eagles. So that your youth is renewed like the eagles. He crowns your life, he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. He redeems your life from destruction. Look at verse 6. He said, The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. 
He made his, 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 he made known his ways to Moses and his acts to the children of Israel. He said, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abandoning in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. You see that? You see that? God is so massive. God is so mighty. God is so loving. God is so good. And now I know you are thinking right now, all right, God is so good. I've been through a lot. I mean, pastor, you don't know how I feel right now. You know, I've lost money. You know, I'm sick. I'm down. I'm depressed. I'm, 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 I'm anxious. I'm worried. I, you know, I don't know what the future holds for me. My friend, that's actually, you are in the best position to thank God. Let me tell you the truth. The old Safat and the old Judah was faced with three nations. And they were so afraid, they went to pray. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I always love to talk about it because it's so amazing. When they went to pray, God told them, he said, this battle is mine. He said, just, 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 you know, just, just know that I am in charge of this battle. Those things you are going through, they are not yours. They are God's responsibilities. You know what your responsibility is? Thanksgiving. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you check Psalm 139, I want to show you something in Psalm 139. Fantastic scripture. Psalm 139, I want to read from verse um, um, Let me read from verse 30. Let me read from verse 13. It says, For you formed my inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. Now, this is talking about thanksgiving on purpose. Look at it. Now, you have to be doing it on purpose. You have to, your life must reflect. The reason why God wants us to shine in this world is for us to fulfill our mandate. And that mandate must glorify the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, now, in order to understand the mandate, in order to align with the mandate, in order to discharge our duties, all right, in order to actually carry out the assignment he has given unto us, beginning from knowing, understanding, being empowered, uh, carrying out the assignment, we must live a life of thanksgiving. From the first day you gave your life to Christ or you have come to confess Christ and believe him with your heart as your Lord and personal Savior and that he was raised from the dead, your life must be a life of thanksgiving. You must thank him for the negative things that have happened or that are even happening or you, and you must thank him for the good things that are actually happening. Now look at this. Now he said, you formed my in one part, you covered me in my mother's womb. So God knows about you. He has the detail. Look at verse 14. He said, I will pray you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. You see, the reason you praise the Lord is you know, because of who he is, because of all his benefits and because he already programmed you in his purpose. Marvelous are your works. He formed you in your mother's womb. He covered you. You know, you were fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are the work of God. And that my soul knows very well. He said, my frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest part of the earth, your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed. And he said, and in your book, they, are, they all were written. You know, the day is fashioned for me. When as yet there, was, there were none of them, how precious also are your thoughts to me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they will be more in number than the sun. When I awake, I am still with you. Oh, that you will slay the wicked, O God, depart from me. You know, blah, 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 blood testimony. Now, but you see, say, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And at thanksgiving is not what you practice once in a while. Your life must be a life of thanksgiving. Your life must. That's why in Colossians right there, Colossians chapter 3, if you read from 16, 17 and thereabout, he said, your life, everything you do in words and in deed must glorify the Lord. You know, I remember Ephesians chapter 5, if you read from verse you know, 17, he said, understand what the will of the Lord is. Don't be foolish. He said, do not be filled with wine where it is in essence, but be filled with the Spirit. All right? He said, making melodies in your heart, singing or speaking to one another. You know, with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, making melodies in your heart 
to the Lord. Making melodies in your heart to the Lord. Abandon unto thanksgiving. Even when we give offering, we give tithe, we give seed of faith, we give whatever we give unto the Lord as substance, all right, of worship is also for worship. God spoke to Abraham. He said, take your holy begotten son and go and worship. That is, sacrifice your holy begotten son on the month that, uh, Monday that I will show you. you know? And he, Abraham said, we are going there to worship. All right? What God actually wants us to know first and foremost before we move into his assignment is to begin our life we worship. God wants us to worship. God wants us to minister to him. In Acts chapter 13 verse 2, Bible says, as they minister to the Lord and fasted, you know, from the minister to the Lord, meaning the, the minister to the Lord, they could have ministered to the Lord out of their substance. You know, that is done, all right? When you give, it's also for worship, all right? You're not giving to because God wants to bless you. You have been blessed. But when you give, it's primarily for worship. Then as you give, everything that God has blessed you with spiritually becomes so activated and you start seeing the effect of them in your real life. But that's not what I'm even talking about. Singing songs to the Lord, spiritual songs. All right? Singing, dancing, worshiping, shouting, screaming, jumping, regardless of what is going on. All right? Stay tuned. Talk by Awofi Sayo. We'll be right back. Let me tell you, rejoicing is deliberate. Thanking God must be done on purpose. You must purposefully do it. You must sing purposefully. You must shout purposefully. Not, look, not because things are in place physically, but because you know that you know things are in place in the realm of the spirit. Habakkuk chapter 3. All right. Um, I want to read verse, um, verse 17. It says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruits be on the vines. Can you see? Now, the fig tree may not blossom. Whether you have money in your account or not. All right? You probably might have planted something that you are yet to see results. You might have started a business, you might have gotten a job, and you are yet to see results, you know, income and all that. Or you, are, you have certificate, you are yet to get a job. Although the fig tree may not blossom, no fruits be on the vines. Though the labor of the olive may fail. So that means there are certain things you could have done that failed. Look at it. He said, and the field yields no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no head in the store. So that means, he said, investment, the flock cut off from the fold, and then there's no, you know, there's no, um, um, there is no, uh, there's no fruit, and there's no head in the stores. He said, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Can you see that? Yet I will rejoice. So that means, regardless of the negative circumstances, I will rejoice. Uh, Pre-COVID, um, COVID, post-COVID, I will rejoice. Are you getting what I'm saying? I will rejoice in it because in, in, God has a plan for you, and you don't understand how these plans unfold. You can imagine Daniel was captured. You know, when there was an invasion of King Nebuchadnezzar in Israel, he invaded and captured, and in captivity, Daniel was shining. You can imagine. If he was full of complaint, he wasn't giving God glory, I'm glad it would have been difficult for him to shine there. If Joseph was not taking God in prison, he wouldn't have been able to interpret the dreams of the people who were, he wouldn't even be able to take note. I mean, do you know he was lied against? And then because of the lie, their justice system very faulty, and then they sentenced him and sent him to prison. But yet, with thanksgiving, a good heart, you know, he was moving about, and he was even seeing people who are depressed and attending to them who had a dream and interpreting their dreams for them. What are you going through? What have you, have you been lied against? Have you been sold? Have you been lied against? Have you been imprisoned unjustly? Look at what happened in the scripture. And those men was full, they were full of joy. They were, look at Paul. Paul many times will be arrested. The same Paul that was arrested in Acts chapter 16. Why they were singing, and they were arrested. And himself and Silas, they were singing to the law. And earthquake came up. Earthquake. And they were delivered. Even when they were delivered, they didn't leave. Because God had a plan. The person who was the chief jailer had to be saved. Can you imagine? The same Paul, after that, had been in other prisons where he would have sung and also prayed, and nothing happened. He had to sit down and start writing Revelations. That's how he wrote to the Philippians. He was telling the Philippians, he said, rejoice. Again, I say, 
Rejoice. Rejoice always. He says, look, I know that my deliverance or my, I will be restored to you soon. He said, this bond, this bondage, that is the bond, the imprisonment, is to the glory of God. He said, I will be restored to you sooner. He said, don't be depressed. So people on the outside were depressed for the person that was already incarcerated. So and he told them, he said, rejoice. So he was motivating people from inside the prison. He said, rejoice again. I say, rejoice always. Rejoice always. He said, don't be, be anxious for nothing. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. He said, be anxious for nothing. He said, let your request. He said, present your, he said, supplications with prayer, supplications. Let your request be made known to God with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving. And the peace of God will guide your heart. You cannot minus thanksgiving from a believer's life. There will not be effectiveness. There will not be purpose delivery. All right? God needs us to live a life full of gratitude. Live a life full of praise. And how do we rejoice? We rejoice by shouting. We rejoice by jumping. Regardless of what might have happened. Look at that Habakkuk. That's what the Habakkuk, you know, that's what it says. Look at what it says here. All right? He said, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. That's why in the book of Nehemiah, he said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. If you need to be refreshed, if you need to be blessed, let me tell you, rejoicing is deliberate. Thanking God must be done on purpose. You must purposefully do it. You must do it. You must sing purposefully. You must shout purposefully. Not, look, not because things are in place physically, but because you know that you know things are in place in the realm of the spirit. All right? You know, Jeremiah said, thy word, thy word, I find thy word, and I did eat it, and it, I did eat them, and then it became the rejoicing of my soul. So if you, are actually, if you actually believe in God's promises, if you believe that God is still God regardless of what is happening, if you believe that it's not late for you to get married, if you believe that it's not late for you to have the best of businesses, to have your influence in place, to, to be a role model, if you believe that it's not late for you to discover your purpose and fulfill it, you believe that it's not late for you to be best, you believe that it's not late for you to be successful and not a failure, you got to rejoice. you got to rejoice. you got to sing. you got to sing and worship him from your heart. You've got to let your thanksgiving, all right, go up to the Lord. Sweet-smelling aroma, all right? You've got to also worship him with your substance, with your offering, your seed, your time. You've got to just lift him up and worship him and cultivate this habit every now and then. You say, glory to God, all right? On Monday, glory to God. Tuesday, glory to God. In the night, glory to God. In the day, glory to God. Father, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. The other day, you know, um, um, I mean, when you are picking the first one or two ministers of God in this country was being interviewed, he said, what do you do in prayer? And blah, blah. I said, 90% of my uh, prayer is thanks. I'm actually talking about Pastor Yadibu. I mean, I said, so he says, 90% of my prayer is thanksgiving. You know, with his tambourine right there, just say, Father, I thank you. I give you praise. Thank you for Asia. Thank you for Africa. Thank you. You must actually live that life of thanksgiving. Thank God for your enemies. Thank God for your position. Thank God for your bosses. Thank God for your peers. Thank God for your subordinates. Thank God for the church you belong to. Thank God for me. Thank God for your pastor. Thank God for everybody. Your families, your loved ones. Thank God for everybody. You have to thank God. All right? Glory to Jesus. Now look at the results. In that Habakkuk, I love this. I love this. Look at the result. It says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet, and he will make me walk on my eye eaves. You see that? So what he's saying is that he is actually giving me supernatural speed. He's going to give me supernatural. As I rejoice and I thank him, he's going to give me supernatural speed. 
I'm going to have a direction. And I'm going to run faster. I'm going to fulfill my purpose. I'm going to be great in life. As I thank him and give him praise. Because when I'm poor and I give him praise, when I'm rich, I continue to give him praise. I'm not going to stop. And then the more I give him praise, the richer I become. The more I give him praise, the more wealthy I become. The more I give him praise, the more successful I become. The more I give him praise, the more blessed I become. The more I give him praise, the more, the greater I become. Glory to Jesus. Are you ready to thank him? I love the man of Galilee for he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me of my sin and sent an Holy Ghost to me. I love the man, I love the man of Galilee. Glory to Jesus. I love the man, I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. Hallelujah. He has forgiven me of my sin and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Galilee. There is no other business in heaven except Thanksgiving. It's not a place of request. God must always be glorified in your life. You must always continue to offer the sacrifice of praise, the fruit of your lips. That's what the Hebrew says. Are you ready to give him praise? Are you ready to shout? I'd like you to be crazy in his presence. You must dance. You must live where you are. You must stand up. You must dance. You must shout. You must sweat. And I'd like you to snap yourself and send us the picture as you dance in your place, as you rejoice. Because we're going to have nothing less than 10, 20, 10, 15 minutes, like 10, 15 minutes of worship. I mean, you are going to dance, you are going to worship, you are going to give him praise, you are going to shout, you are going to scream. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Say to yourself seven times, I'm ready to praise. I'm ready to praise. I'm ready. 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 Woo! Glory, glory. Come on, give a shout. Glory, glory. I'm ready. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Let me tell you something. When we celebrate God like this, all our expectations comes to manifestation. They come to reality. I tell you, God will put your eyes to see more opportunities. There are so many wonders of praising God. All right? We cannot explore that now. There are so many wonders, all right, of praising God. But what I want you to do to know is that you must thank him on purpose. That when you thank him, you will see things unfolding. God will guide your steps. Order it. It will bring friends into your life, relationship, network. You will discover within you the things he has sent you to do and then you will start doing it. Alright? So we begin with thanksgiving. Lift up your hands. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for the word that has come so straightforward to our heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your word says, I will praise the Lord at all time, for you are good. Father, we will praise you at all time. Lord, we are going to dance and worship and give him praise. Give you praise now. Accept our thanks and worship. Accept our lifestyles as a lifestyle of worship. Help us, help us as we dance and thank you. Just configure us permanently on the flow of worship and thanksgiving. Thank you, everlasting Father. A grateful life is a graceful life. As we thank you and give you praise, may we ne never lack grace to carry out everything you have called us to do. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's go ahead and dance and give him praise. Come on, clap your hands wherever you are. Let us praise God together. He's worthy of our praise. We thank Him for another month. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All God's zero one more. All God's zero one more. All God's zero one more. Oh, yeah, name Him. All God's zero one more. You say. All God's zero one more. All God's zero one more. All God's zero one more. Oh, yeah, name Him. All God's zero one more. All God's zero one more. All God's zero one more. Hallelujah. I 
Come clap your hands, say. Oh, he's worthy of our praise. We give him thanks for everything. Hallelujah. Your love has taken over me. Father, I depend on you. I've got confidence in you. In you, O oh Lord. I put my trust in your love. Cause it's covered me under, under the canopy. Give me security. Uh, I am the righteousness of God. Cause it's covered me under the canopy. Hallelujah. 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 One more time, declare to yourself. It's covered me under Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, you've covered me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are great, you are great, you are great, Jesus. You are great, hey, you are great. You are great. Lift him up, you say, hey, hey. You are great, Jesus. You are great, Jesus. Everything, everything written about you is great. Come on, join us in worship. Say, you are great. Demons tremble at his presence. Hallelujah. Say, demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you, written about you is great. Two more times declared over the situations. Demons tremble, demons tremble out your presence. Hey, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Lift your hands, say glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything, everything, everything. You're going to face the challenges, face the wars that you have, and tell the devil that he trembles at God's presence. Demons tremble. Demons Hallelujah. Tremble Come on, put them into their places. What a mighty God we say. Show them the kind of God you serve. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything we think. For the last time, you're going to declare it with every spirit that you have. Demons tremble. Demons tremble at your presence. Come on, declare to him, say, What a mighty God we have. What a hey, mighty God we have. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Hey, everything, everything, everything written about you. Say demons tremble. 
as we have danced and worshipped. Father, I speak, and new opportunities flow. Doors are open. Life are touched. I speak by the power of you are healed. Everything that God has shown to you, they begin to come to pass. Doors are open unto you. Doors of greatness. God, I speak, you begin to manifest the kingdom power. In the name of Jesus, I had the done deal in my spirit. This month is a miracle month for you. The month of answers, the month of increase, the light of God shines upon you. In the name of Jesus, you are favored. The set time to be favored is now. You realize the purpose of God for your life and you execute it. In the name of Jesus, everything you ever need, human resources, human resources, a financial resource, material resource, physical resource, receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. And I pray for your offering tithe, seed of faith, and everything you are giving unto God. I pray that it becomes sacrifice that, you know, yield or release incense, a sweet aroma incense to heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, that your substance of worship is accepted. Father, we thank you because this is presented from our heart. Blessed be your holy name. Your Lord be glorified. God be glorified. In our businesses, in our career, in every area of our life, be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You can now transfer your offering. You'll see the details um, um, on the, on, online or it will be sent to you uh, to different respective accounts, your title, your offering, the seed of faith, um, or partnership. All right? Um, I want to say that join us. This month is a special month. I'm going to be teaching more. All right, on God's purpose, all right, for you, God's plans and purpose for you. So I want you to stay tuned, to stay connected. You will be so blessed, I tell you. All right, 6 p.m. on Wednesdays, um, 9 a.m. on Sundays. Uh, if you're a first timer, thank you for worshiping with us. There will be details. Just wait to the end, you'll see a detail how you go about. Uh, stay with us. Just always come Wednesday, 6 p.m. and then. Uh, Sunday night, um, Sunday school. I do Sunday school or Sunday live at facebook.com slash talkbyobsire, uh, instagram.com slash talkbyobsire, mixlr.com slash talkbyobsire, Facebook like every 8 a.m. in the morning for just 40 minutes. I teach fundamentals of Christian living uh, right there. May God bless you as you hook up to us. We love and celebrate you. Thank you. God bless you.